and special teams. And we're just really pleased with how our guys came out and, and answered the challenge and we're ready to go. I know you probably didn't finish the way that you would have liked, but uh, as far as playing a 60-minute game, and we've talked about that a lot, but, boy, I don't know that we played a solid – three quarters as good as that uh, that we have all season long as we did tonight. Oh, for sure. I thought we played outstanding throughout the course of the game. Um, you know, you, you hate that turnover on special I mean, T.J. James has done such a great <laughs> job playing those pop kicks uh, in previous games and, and, and just misplayed it a little bit there and, and got that turnover. And then you had a couple penalties that, you know, are right on top of each other. And, you know, you, you don't want to finish the game in that fashion. But uh, I, th I thought you're, you're exactly right. I mean, 45 minutes plus of, of great team football and really excited about what our kids achieved tonight. Yeah, Dukes was just sacked one time tonight against a, a, a very good defense, and, and that was more of a coverage sack than anything else. I thought your offensive line was terrific tonight. Yeah, I thought they played really well. It was great to see us, you know, pop an inside zone there, and, and Jalen Boyd, uh, you know, is finally, finally, I think, fully healthy right now. He kind of nursed a hamstring early on in the season, and, and you can see that explosiveness back, and all of a sudden the O line opens up that crease, and Jalen hit it, and a couple guys had an angle on him, and he ran right past him. Uh, I thought our offensive line did a, did a really good job tonight. And the defense. I mean, what what can you really say? about They, they were terrific, it, it, mainly, mainly for those three quarters. But yeah. uh, shutting out a team as, as explosive as Bethel is for, for, you know, for three quarters, I mean, again, uh, hats off. Yeah, and, and, you know, they're a very talented team. They have talented <laughs> skill players, and we just didn't let, let them get those big plays. We kept them behind the chains. Uh, early, you know, forced a couple turnovers. Uh, what a great interception by Marcellus Campbell. Uh, just a great break on that. And that was kind of off a, a time coming out of the half where the offense, you know, stalled out, right, coming out of the half. And then, you know, we get a turnover there. Uh, I thought our defense came up big. Special teams-wise, I we, Bob and I just kept uh, talking and talking all night long about how Sauter just kept the ball away wow. from Reddick. It was fa fabulous all night yeah. long. I mean, I don't know how many touchbacks we had. So we scored seven touchdowns, one other uh, extra, or one other kickoff in the game. I think all eight were touchbacks. I, yeah, I they believe. Were. Uh, and the first two or three were going into a slight win. You know, the wind died down as the game went on, but the first two or three were into a slight win. I mean, uh, Ian played great, uh, punted the ball well, uh, and like she kept it away from from Reddick, who's a you know, All-American as a returner a couple years ago. Uh, really, really impressed with our special teams tonight. And those guys have bought into that all season. That's been a big part of why we're, we're where we are now. Coach, did you see this coming from, uh, from thought, practice this I, week? I thought we had a great week of practice. I thought we were focused. Uh, I told you a little bit this morning off the air that, you know, it, it feels like we're focused on the task at hand. Um, didn't really have a lot of concern about looking forward aside from, the situation, you know, the, the situation concerned you, but I didn't feel like our mental state was, was there. I thought we were in a good place. Uh, it, it, and we knew that this is a type of game that if we could get that fast start, who knows what the what the finish could be. What I predicted, we win by six touchdowns. I'm not sure <laughs> I would have predicted that because I have a lot of respect for uh, the talent that's on that team uh, or on that field uh, across from us there. Bethel's a very talented team. But, you know, they've had some games not, not go that way recently. Um, but, you know, really excited about how our kids came out to play and, and uh, if you told me we'd be up four touchdowns at half and, and twenty eight nothing, uh, I'd take it all day long. Coach, what did you? What was your your best? Uh, <laughs> Patrick Oliver. Patrick Oliver. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's so. right. What What was your best coaching move tonight? Was it Was it during the game or was it trying to get everybody lined up for that photo at the end? It was a photo. It was the photo. I saw the <laughs> photographer on the backside. A couple of guys trying to get a, a photo. I was like, you know, let's get a team photo right here. Let's get some celebration. And you know, the cool thing is that. Uh, it's not just the guys whose names we're calling that are out there on the field. I mean, there's so many guys it takes to do what we did, you know, this regular season and what we kind of finish off with this chapter tonight. There's prep team guys that, that don't get their names called uh, on the radio or on the TV that are such a huge part of the process to get to a, a Friday night game or a Saturday game and to, to win a conference championship and to do those things. So we dressed a lot of guys tonight. Mm -hmm. We dressed about everybody who was healthy. Uh, we had a, a lot of guys down there on the, on the sideline. I mean, thankfully, we can go 15 yard line, 15 yard line. We space out a little bit, a little bit more there. Um, but it was great to have all those guys be a part of it, and then you know to celebrate. Hey, let's go get a picture, and let's get all those guys. Uh, I told them after the game, uh, you know, you guys really achieved something special, not just tonight, not just this season, but really over the past 13, 14 months since we started preparing for what was going to be the fall of 2020 season and then you know COVID and all those things.
just really proud of our of our kids. They've sacrificed an awful lot, and uh, you know it was a great great evening. We're looking forward to continuing this and you know trying to go one and zero against a really good team, whoever we play next week. We're glad we'll be doing it at home, but we're going to enjoy this. And we're really proud. Of it. What's the next 48 hours look for the Blue Raider squad? I mean, you won't know until Sunday, yeah. so what's that look like? We're going to go ahead and have a normal day tomorrow. We're going to have, you know, what we do the day after the game, watching the video, treatments, get our lift in. We're going to treat it normal. We're going to be off in the evening. Normally, the day after the game, you go to dinner, and in the evening, coaches are, are game planning for the next one. We don't know that yet, so that's great. So we'll take an evening off, and, you know, we'll uh, have time to go to church and those things on Sunday. And, you know, we're going to have a little bit of a team session Sunday, kind of a recovery time, a little bit of a pool workout, try to get some inflammation down and those things. And then we'll enjoy the 6 o'clock uh, selection show, and then we will be working late into the night trading video and getting ready for whoever we get next Saturday. Coach, congratulations, uh, division titleist, once again. Thank you. We appreciate everything that you and Bob do for us. That's LWC head football coach Chris Oliver. Blue Raiders winning.